हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट इंटेलिजेंस इज दैट ह्यूमन कॉग्नेटिव सिस्टम दैट सेट इट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कॉग्नेशन ऑफ द मोर प्रिमेटिव एनिमल्स इट अलाउ अस टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ग्रेप द एबस्ट्रैक्ट एनालाइज एंड इमेजिन individual differs from one another in their ability to understand complex ideas to adapt effectively to the environment to learn from the experience to engage in various forms of reasoning to overcome obstacles by taking thoughts due to the practical applications of intelligence in educational psychological and working setting it is important to understand its measurement and testing because there are many ways to be intelligent there are also many conceptualizations of intelligence the most influential and systematic approach is based on psychometric testing although this tradition has produced a substantial body of knowledge many questions remain unanswered we know much less about the forms of intelligence that the test do not easily assess such as wisdom creativity practical knowledge social skills and the like as children develop the similarities of thought processes that exist at certain stages can serve as a guidelines enabling students parents and educators to understand the nature of a child's cognitive awareness at various developmental stages children also exhibit individual differences historically psychologist and educator have been more interested in individual differences than in similarities the result has been a profusion of psychological test instrument designed to separate rank rate or in some way distinguish one child from another intelligence test attempt to measure your intelligence or your basic ability to understand world around you assimilate its functioning and applying this knowledge to enhance the quality of your life the aim of an intelligent quotient test is to measure the intelligence of an individual which supposedly is indication of an individual's potential so let's see first the meaning of intelligence quotient the term intelligent quotient or iq comes from binet test in which each individual score was the quotient of his or her tested academic age with his or her actual age william stern a stanford university psychologist developed in 1914 the concept of intelligent quotient when he translated and revised the binet seaman intelligence scale hence the name of the new instrument the stanford binet intelligence scale in this instrument the me reasoning that mental age ma should equal chronological age ca for an average child he believe that some type of ratio must exist this ratio led to the use of the term iq or intelligent quotient the formula was simply to divide mental age by chronological age ma upon ca and assign a score that on that basis thus an average 6 year old child would have a the score ma by ca is equal to 6 by 6 is equal to 1 a child of 5 mentally and 4 chronology kali would have score ma by ca is equal to 4 5 by 4 is equal to 1.25 or one who has a mental age of 7 but a chronological age of 10 would have a score of 
point seven. While the ratio system worked well, decimals becomes annoying to deal with, prompting one objector William Stern to simplify matter by multiplying the total by hundred. The resulting score was called intelligence quotient or IQ. Thus, IQ is equal to MA upon CA into 100. In this way, an intelligence score of 1.25 become an IQ of 125, while an IQ of 0.7 become one of 70. For example, a 6 year old child with a mental age of 6 would an would have an IQ of 100, the average IQ score. A 6 year old child with a mental age of 3 would have an IQ of 67 or a 6 year child with a mental age of 9 would have an IQ of 150. Now let us see what is IQ scores and rating. Levis Terman in 1916 developed the original notion of IQ and proposed this scale for classifying IQ scores. Over 140 genius or near genius, 120 to 140 very superior intelligence, 110 to 119 superior intelligence, 90 to 109 normal or average intelligence. 80 to 89 dullness, 70 to 79 borderline deficiency, under 70 definite feeble mindedness. Now let us understand administration of intelligence test. Psychological tests are constructed for testing either one individual or group of individuals at a time. Likewise, there are two major types of intelligence test, those administered to the individuals and those administered to the groups. Individually administered test. Individually administered test requires one to one consultation with the child. This test involves various verbal and normal verbal subtest which can be combined to give an overall IQ but which also provide valuable separate subtest scores and measures based on the behavioral responses of the child to the test items. Individual test varies tremendously in their format and content. Some intelligent test measures only one skill such as vocabulary or visual analogy. Other more popular instruments are multi skilled that is they measure many components of an intelligent construct. Individually administered test generally requires more training than do group test. Binet and Westchel's test of intelligence are the examples of a individually administered test. Group administered test. The group test of intelligence enables us to test a large number of individuals in a relatively short period of time. Thus, we can conveniently go in for a large scale testing. Statistics and the norms that are prepared from a large groups are definitely more reliable, objective and scientific than the norms available in individual testing from a small numbers. Also, each group test can be used to test one individuals only and thus provides an adequate opportunity to an expert tester to note personality pointers. Most group tests are of pencil and paper variety. Group administer intelligent test involves a series of different problems and are generally used in mass testing situations such as military and the schools. Group administered intelligent tests are similar in structure and format to the group administered achievement test. 
they measures in fact similar areas group intelligent tests usually have different levels that are used with individuals in certain grades Typically, they include some combination of measures of language abilities, memory skills, comprehension, analogical reasoning, and reading and mathematics aptitude. The Ravens Progressive Matrices and Cattell's Culture Fair Test are the examples of group administered test. Now, let's solve some MCQ on this topic. Who first developed the concept of IQ? A. Binet, B. Simon, C. William Stern, and D. De Lewis Terman. Please answer this question. The answer of question number one is C because it was William Stern, a Stanford University psychologist. Who developed the concept of intelligent quotient in 1914 when he translated and revised the Binet Simon intelligence scale? Question number 2 The formula of IQ is A, MA by CA, B, MA by CA plus 100, C, CA by MA, D, MA by CA into 100 now answer this question answer of question 2 is d because formula given by william stern is iq is equal to ma by ca into 100 here we finish the topic thank you